research and innovation capacity developments is another soft focus area of the education chapter here at BP. This focus area is the supplies be key to strengthening the education and training sector's contribution to improving South Africa's global competitiveness. There are serious and complex uh, challenges to uh, programming how we assist teachers to teach in a manner that they close the gaps that have been managed in the past uh, two and a half years. Um, it's clear that teachers are putting back to the classroom, they're covering more work. What we need to ascertain is uh, how uh, well they are teaching and how we assist them to teach for, for them. Every department, every province has their own dynamics. Yeah in terms of the way they're organized, in terms of the way teaching and learning is, is delivered and the outcomes that you see in their schools. So I would say this is a really good example for those first three reasons that I gave. The scale of it, it's done three, there's three grades and it, it's done using 2019 and 2021 data, makes it very reliable, but it's not, yeah, the, it's not the template for the rest of the country, but it certainly gives us a very strong indication of what's happening. Now, the point I want to make is that we are in uncharted waters. We are dependent on specific indicators, but more importantly, we depend on collective wisdom to get <laughs> us to the end of our destination. But it's not just about the end of a destination. It's about getting to where we intend to get to in very unknown and uncharted waters. And therefore, for me, engagements of this nature are of critical importance in terms of understanding where we are and understanding where we need to get to, but more importantly, how do we get there? Thinking about um, some time after school and there's very good results we're getting from after school care programs because I'm saying it's more than just covering the curriculum for the grade. It's actually time to deal with the backlogs that come from previous uh, grades. So uh, firstly in the in the past eight to nine years the NCT has clearly played a very critical role of supporting the system in driving the steady improvement in the operations as well as the outcomes that we see in the education system. In particular, during the lockdown, the NCT has worked together with its partners and the Department of Basic Education, I think to avoid what would have been the worst uh, in the education sector, in the context where learners had no access to teachers, uh, where the NCT was able to be a couple of uh, you know, partners to uh, design and roll out a far-reaching modern digital learning you know, initiatives through a number of television stations, over 12 radio stations and the like. Um, the, the big challenge now is how we program the closing of those gaps and putting back the education system in the course towards the 2030 targets that we've had before COVID-19.